Montel Final Comedian. Uh, this guy's from San Antonio, and they have a show at the Creek the Cave called The Come Up Show. And y'all know Tommy Davidson? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's doing a comedy show with Tommy Davidson. Oh, shit. Uh, pretty soon at the Creek in the Cave, so that's pretty awesome. I know. Yeah. You don't know who that is? No, I know you. Oh, okay. Alright, so uh, maybe he's not an applause for Aaron Cheatham. Yeah! Y'all for real, Dan? Is that what you Yeah? Let me ask you something, Pops. At any point, did you think this motherfucker ain't gonna make it? <laughs> look, I'm, I'm a dad, right? I got a son. And every day I look at that nigga and go, mm, this shit might be a problem. Like, <laughs> I don't know how this kid is gonna survive. Yeah, 16, yeah, there was some. some yeah? yeah? This is the thing I've been noticing. I think it's just, like, I don't know how any of us guys made it to be fucking adults. I don't know how the fuck. Because dudes are stupid. Like, from birth, we're dumb. <laughs> Like, I thought it was a joke. I thought it was just shit that old women said because they were bitter. No, we're dumb, like, from the jump. I knew at six months that my son wasn't shit. I was like, oh, he's a knucklehead. Look at this dumb ass. Why are you reaching for that? He's not going to last. He's not going to fucking last. I know it. I know it. I watched this dude. Repeatedly do the dumbest shit I've ever seen. I got a daughter, I got a son and a daughter. My son is six, my daughter's four, right? And me and my daughter, we be having grown ass conversations and shit. <laughs> Daddy, when I grow up, I want to work at Whataburger and be a bus driver. Damn, that shitty, but okay. Yeah. The fuck you get that bucket from? What is he? Hey, get the bucket off your head! Don't go down the stairs with the bucket on your head! What the fuck is wrong with you? Literally two weeks ago, we're at a family reunion in Illinois, right? Take the kids up there, there's a family reunion, there's a funeral, it's all the same thing. After the funeral, <laughs> after the funeral, we go like to the repast or whatever the fuck they call it when you eat dinner afterwards for free, right? <laughs> I'm parked in the car, my wife and the kids go in the house, or not in the house, into the building. By the time I park and get in, She's like, you need to talk to your son. I'm like, it's been two minutes. What? <laughs> Ask him why he took the fire hydrant off the wall and dropped it on the floor. <laughs> son, did you do that? It was heavier than I thought. You fucking idiot! Like, <laughs> why are you touching shit? He's always been like this, man. He's always, right? Like, I remember once I took my son to one of those indoor playgrounds. You know, one of those places where they can run and jump and bounce or whatever, and he's having a blast. And right before we leave, he wants to go down the slide again, so he climbs up the ladder and he runs over to the slide. But when he gets to the slide, at the top of the slide, there's this little Chinese boy or Asian or whatever we're calling him this year. One of the Thai folks was at the top of the slide, right? <laughs> <laughs> With the antidote for COVID and shit. Just <laughs> And his mom, his mom is at the bottom of the slide, and she's yelling up to him in their language, trying to get him to come down. She's going, Lao Ba! Come on, Lao Ba! <laughs> Real talk, that's really what that says. I still like that shit. I ain't just up here yelling racist shit. I don't fucking say that shit. Lao Ba! I got a real China man to confirm I was doing it right. Lao Ba! <laughs> You can't be like, oh, boy, that's something different. Lava! <laughs> and my son's watching this shit. He looks at the boy, he looks at the mom. Here's the fucked up thing. I got high and I just said the punchline before the rest of the joke. <laughs> but my son's watching this whole thing and he's just mimicking her, just nah, nah, nah. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Racist as shit. I left him there. Like, I, can't, I can't claim him after he did that shit. I left his ass there. We got him back, so it's cool, but fuck, I didn't care. He's always been like this. My son's always been retarded, man. I don't know how he's gonna make it. Like, I remember I had to stop taking showers with him, and he was like three because he was making it awkward. <laughs> Uh, 
know what I'm talking about? Like, you, dads in here, you know what I'm talking about. Like, oh, just hop in here real quick, let me bring you like, Yeah, you know, fucking, like, you made it, like, I almost me too, this nigga. We were this close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this goddamn close, man. It was. Could it be Weinstein, my son? <laughs> Sitting in the jail smoking I heard God be on that nigga. I never liked it. I never liked it taking showers with them because it always made me feel vulnerable, right? No, because think about it, right? Like, he's this tall, right? The last time I'm in there washing, I'm washing them up. My wife yells, hey, while you're in there, wash his hair. I can do that, no problem. Yeah, there's no way this kid gives me this weird ass look. <laughs> and then he goes, Waka, Waka, Waka! <laughs> like, low key, that's creepy as fuck, right? Like, like that's grounds to get the fuck out of my shower right there. <laughs> but it turns out that was a diversionary tactic. Because <laughs> he followed that up with this. Boop! <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> Scared the piss out of me, y'all. No, for real, I peed in his face. <laughs> Not like R. Kelly peed, but it was enough we had to wash off. Don't you know? tell your mom what just happened. Just get the fuck out. Get the fuck out, man. The one, thing, the one thing about my son being a knucklehead that I do enjoy is that he drives my wife crazy. And anything that throws her off, my, her game makes my day. Right? He does dumb shit that pisses her off. Right, like the other night she's sitting there, what the fuck is taking him so long? He took a shower 20 minutes ago. Why is it taking him so long to get dressed and come in? Go check on your son. I ain't going up there. <laughs> I don't have to go up there to know what's going on. I, I've been a five-year-old boy. I know exactly what's going on. <laughs> upstairs. I don't need to walk upstairs to see him going, I'm butt naked with my willy out. <laughs> And the crazier, the better on Reddit. Here's the thing about Reddit, though. Like, until I started getting on Reddit, like, I wasn't really informed on shit. <laughs> so I went to Reddit looking for porn, but I ended up becoming the most informed person in my friend circle. Like, ridiculous. Every time you go to search, they have, like, the top trending news stories in the world. I'm just like, holy shit. The same day I found out about GameStop, three minutes later, I came. All right? Like, it's, <laughs> Reddit is amazing. It's amazing. I get on there, and I and I found where my line is in the bedroom, right? Everybody, everybody has a line. Like, you know what? I'm cool with everything up to this, right? Like, what's your line? Where's your line in the bedroom? Uh, just uh, don't put anything in me. Put nothing in you? Yeah, don't put anything in me. Your mouth, nose, ears doesn't matter. Don't put, don't put anything in me. All right, so you you just want no penetration to you yeah. of any sort. Yeah. But you can do all the penetrating. Yes. You slay the pussy. Yes. All right. <laughs> Chris, where's your line? Oh, man. Come on, dude. Where's your line? Where's your line? Chris, no, I ask you because I know you are an open individual. Where's your, where's your line? Everybody has a line. Uh, man, I don't know, man. I, I, 
I feel like when it gets aggressive and it's like really vocal in an aggressive way, I don't like it. Like only half Mexican, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't like I don't like vocal aggressiveness. So you don't want to hear the bitch. You just want her to blink. And no, I don't mean that. I mean, <laughs> I mean that. I mean that. Amazon you. 
And I know I ain't never going to see her again in life. <laughs> I already gave her a fake name. My name is Chris Castles. How you doing? <laughs> he's down. He's down there. <laughs> That's the only way I can do it. Like, I know I'm never in life gonna encounter this person who saw my, we grabbed a bat. <laughs> 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 and I know, like, the women here are like, well, it sounds like you just need to open up your hips. That's what that sounds like. <laughs> Maybe you should try some yoga. Like, why can't I do that, huh? So it's okay for you to put my legs on your shoulders? Yep. It's okay for you to sweat and grunt on me? Yep. It's okay for you to pose like Randy Orton after you beat that pussy <laughs> up? <laughs> but I can't do it to you? Hell no, you can't do it to me. It's, no, it's Hell emasculating. Yeah. Hell yeah. Right? She goes, you're a hypocrite. I said, no, I think I'm a Republican now. <laughs> 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 Uh, you know what, that's a good spot then. Thank you guys so much. Uh, give it up for the amazing Aaron Sheeta. That was so great.